Good morning everybody, it's Ollie Richards here, answering your language learning questions. Again, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you like these videos, why not click the notification bell too, that way I will pop up in your YouTube feed whenever I release a new video, which sounds wonderful. So, I've got a question today uh, from a student about reading for input, and the, the question is that reading for input is not easy as a beginner when you don't have enough vocabulary, what advice? can you give me? So a little bit of background. My method for teaching languages is called story learning. And what I have you do as a beginner, right as a beginner, on the very first day, I have you reading and listening to stories. This is very different from what most people are used to. It can come as a bit of a shock at first, if you're used to kind of these old traditional ways of learning languages. And traditional ways of learning languages are, you've got a page in a textbook with a nice long explanation of a of a, some grammar or something, and a list of words for you to memorize. And that's what most people you know, know, what most people recognize as, as language learning, right? Now the trouble with this stuff is that while it's broken down and very easy and you know, explained in, in a very um, kind of user-friendly way, the trouble is that it kind of wraps you in, in bubble wrap and you keep on studying this way for ages and then you never really uh, get a view of what language, what the language really is like, because you're just spending all your time in a textbook. What I prefer to do is to get you reading and listening to the real language right from the beginning, so that while it's a bit tricky, as this questioner is, uh, Mr. Anonymous is asking, while it's a bit tricky, as soon as you get over that hump, you are much more, uh, much more skilled with the language because you've been spending all your time immersed in it from the beginning. Okay, So in these so these questions come from, from students in my Uncovered course. And in Uncovered, the stories are written for beginners. So they're not, in fact, that hard. But it is still, you know, at the beginning, you've got to concentrate. You've got to, you've got to, to focus as you're kind of adapting to, under, to, to getting used to, to learning uh, in this way. And so you don't... You're not, you're not going to understand every word at the beginning. And you know, in, in the course, I kind of give this very detailed step-by-step -step process about how to deal with it. And I, say, I say specifically, don't worry that you don't understand everything. In fact, it's completely normal that you don't understand. In fact, we don't even want you to be understanding everything, because if you did, there would be nothing to learn. Right? So one of the key sort of uh, ways of thinking as you're sitting down to study through input, whether this is through my courses or through any other source of, of input, is you got to get comfortable not understanding everything. And the more tolerant you can be with having some ambiguity there, the more comfortable you can get with not understanding everything that you're reading, the, the faster you're going to advance, the faster you're going to make progress. Because it, for every minute that you're sitting there uh, being exposed to the language, your brain is soaking things up. So even if you don't understand every word, and especially because you don't understand every word, you've got to trust in the process and keep going. Now, one of the ways that you can, uh, that can, that can help you with this is through a process of repeat reading. And I talk about this in my short story books as well. At the beginning, there's a long chapter at the beginning about how to read, the, the five-step reading process. And what you'll find is, if you take a chapter of a story and you read it through, and then you go back and you read it again, and you read it again, and you read it again, what you'll find is with every repeat reading, you're going to pick up a little bit more. And so words that you didn't quite understand at the beginning, by the second or third time you go through it, you start to, you know, you connect the dots and you start to pick up a lot, a lot more. So a process of, kind of repeat reading of short chapters, so, you know, you're not sitting here for hours reading the same thing over again, it's, it's a fairly short um, piece of, of text, but that process of reading and rereading, every time you do it, it raises your awareness a little bit more of what you're looking at, and through that process of struggle, and it is struggle, but it's good, positive, constructive struggle, through that process of struggle, what you're doing is you're building up a resilience to the language. You're building up the, the capacity, like an athlete who's training every day. You're building up that endurance and that stamina. And all you've got to do is keep it up 
And before you know it, you will find that you're able to, you're not scared of a language anymore, you're not phased by it. You're able to kind of pick up something in the language and be comfortable reading it because that's what you've been doing every day. So even though input feels difficult, it feels, it maybe even feels like you're not learning anything at first. Trust in the process, keep going, Re go back and read and reread sections a few times over and you will, uh, I guarantee you that your vo the vocabulary will start to make sense, you'll start to uh, notice words. For some people it happens sooner, for, some, for others it happens later. But it's absolutely key that you do this because the alternative, which you want to avoid at all costs, is going through an endless two, three year long process of learning through textbooks where all you're doing is reading these kind of meta explanations of the language, but never actually dealing with the real language itself. There we go. Hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you back in the next video.